at this. We're at the Pacific Northwest Tool Collectors Show just outside of Portland, Oregon. So today we're gonna walk through here. Sorry this isn't live, but the internet connection here is pretty poor. So we're gonna go through this and take a look at what's on this. If you have any questions, throw those in the comments down below. If you do want to see something like this near you, go to handtoolfinder.com, handtoolfinder.com. And on handtoolfinder.com, I have a list of every place I know of around the world where you can buy hand tools, uh, as well as uh, groups like this that meet up. So we're gonna go through this, and today we've got these two barns, um, and tomorrow we're actually going to be up in the woods for the tailgating. Uh, but I wanna go through here and show you the tools for sale, but also um, the barns themselves. So first we're gonna start in here with tools for sale. And this is going to be a good bit faster than normal, so I'm sorry, but because this isn't live, I don't have people asking me things about it. Um, but if you do see something you have questions about, let me know. This table, he was selling things for next to nothing. I bought um, a plane with a dated carving in it for 1880 something. He gave it to me for 15 bucks. Here's a number 81. He has 10 bucks on that. Um, he was just getting rid of things. $10, $5, $10, here, here we go. 78 for $10. But uh, yeah, he was having a bunch of things. And in a moment here, I'm gonna go around and show you the walls um, because the walls of the barn are kind of cool. But uh, this is a little tight, so it's kind of hard getting in here. Bunch of gouges and chisels. There's a uh, Archimedes drill. I wanna get a couple more of those here sometime. One of the things with the Pacific Northwest tool collectors that the the best in the West, this is actually kind of a cut down version of it, but they have favors that they give out. Oh, look at this, the cable twisted knife. That's kind of cool. Some brass works and plow planes. Here's some records. Oh, here's one. I've never seen a Kuntz number two. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Uh, but yeah, a Kuntz number two plane. So check out the shooting board back here. That's really cool. Uh, what do we got on here? Butt hinge mortiser, seven, five, chisels, block planes. Uh, he's got some boxes he hasn't opened up yet. There's still a few more things. There's gonna be a lot for sale tomorrow, but we are just west of Oregon. Um, but if you go to Pacific Northwest Tool Collectors, you can find out more about it. Let's see if I can get out of here. Ooh, squeezing through. Yeah, I am kind of speeding through it today. Sorry about that. But uh, I want to show what all we got here. In particular, I want to show off the, uh, the barn, which I'm going to go through all the walls in here. There are some amazing collections here. Spoke shaves. There are a couple of these uh, 62s. Which the price on them has come down a little bit, but still, 325 is not oh, a 62. There weren't that many of them made in comparison to others. And so that makes them expensive. Uh, did he sell the favor? Oh no, there's favors over here. So, uh, favors were things that were made at the, uh, the Pacific Northwest Tool Collectors group since this was 2010. And that's one of those things that I'm collecting, kind of. A few more boxes. Oh, these are all books that you can dig through. Oh no, he's got some other stuff. He just doesn't unpack them yet. And over here. John's things. Yes, if you haven't seen his <laughs> hammers, uh, haven't seen these before. Those are hammer heads. Kind of cool. I bought a, uh, a metric square today. If you haven't seen those, Stanley actually made a series of metric squares. People are still kind of digging through things, so some are hard to get to. But let me go around this barn and show you what all's here. So he's got just things all over the place. I mean, it's like a, like a Cracker Barrel on steroids. Um, but he actually goes through and catalogs and, and talks about these. And look at those Atkins saws up there. And uh, turnbuckles, all the travelers. And he's got these cases with different items on sale. Oh, those are ECE, planes, more saws and hammers. So he's got some bottles back here. Oh, these ones are fun. So you've got these two boards running down here and you've got brand marks on them. Those are not like branding irons. Those are actually hammer brands. And so all of these back here are branded hammers. Let me zoom in and see 
so you can see the face on them. Exactly. They all have different brands. <laughs> <Back to> the <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, he's got some cool. Let me come back around here. Combines right now. Check out those whaleback saw Japanese. I got you. He's got uh, planters up here. Right after lunch, so. Hatchets. Beheading hatchets. A lot of double bit axes. Oh, I gotta go into the next room over here. Let me see if I can get through. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Ah, uh, having all sorts of fun. So in here, yeah, he's got several post drills around axes, hammers, and we got all of the the saw sets. But this room, this room is um, fun. So more double bit axes. Lots of people love those. And then more um, saw file, raker files, or file jigs. But this is kind of the blacksmithing section back in here. And he's got all of these cases. So this is just his personal collection. <laughs> but yes, he does do some work. And you got blacksmithing and bench. He's got a bunch of benches. And I love all these lanterns. And there's another post drill for you. Look at the bellows up here. <laughs> so cool. Oops, sir. Uh, oh, this back room here is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay, so more axes. Yes, lots of axes. Axes. And this, that, and the other thing. But then there's, oh, look at that. There's uh, some crosscut saws. And look down here. Oh, my. There's a 12 foot crosscut saw. And there's more crosscut saws. And there's logging helmets and more crosscut saws and more crosscut saws and more crosscut and a crosscut saw um, sharpening vise and uh, then Christmas carolers. We've got a wall of slicks and more double bit axes. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm having an absolute blast. And he, you can walk through here and there are all sorts of different people that will tell you history about the different items in this. And I'm having a lot of fun with that. But this is just one of the barns. Let me take you out and go into the other barn, which is a bigger one. Yeah, I can wash it up. So we just got back from, from dinner, and we've got a uh, raffle out around the corner over here. I'll go look at that in a little bit. But let's come into this barn. So this one has a few things for sale. We'll go through that, and I'll show you some of the displays. So these are things for sale. Check out this ads. That's kind of cool. So I bought a, uh, a grooving plane that had been carved up and shaped. Really beautiful. Come on down here. Plane adjusting mallets. Some books, information. And slicks. Planes. Chisels. Carving sets. Let's come around over here. So we've got the slicks and saws. This is where I bought the metric square earlier. And let's come over here to some of these displays. So this one is all about big tools, such as this. Um, and really, I can't describe just how big this thing is. Uh, that is a, a five inch wide iron on a uh, um, Cooper's plane. It's just beautiful, large molding planes. Here, look at these. So this is a six and a half inch wide crown molding room. And oh, this one's kind of cool. This is a dado rabbit saw. Uh, so it's got these two saws side by side to create dados. Some Cooper's planes. Luthier's instruments tools. This is a really cool collection of scrapers. And it's going through, and these are uh, patented scrapers and showing off the different patents that lead to each of them. Um, and sorry, that, uh, that is a serious level miter box saw. What is this thing? What is it? Frenchman's oxygen generator. What? Everything for safety everywhere. I'm going to have to come back and find out more about that. From water of smoke helmet pull more air required pulls slack of lifeline pulls help me out immediately 
to wear off smoke helmet. Three poles come out immediately. Oh, oh I see. So what this is, um, you have lines on here, and the line would be going down into a well or something, and this would allow him to pull the line and sound the horn. Aha! That's kind of cool. Here's some mallets. Oh, these are kind of cool. Soul mates. So you've thought of, you've seen uh, corrugated souls. Well, what happens if the corrugation is wavy? Well, what if the corrugation is infilled with um, rosewood? What if the corrugation says something? Here's a cool one. A corrugated number two. There are only a few of these in existence. That is a very, very valuable plane right there. It's an interesting, fascinating history. So I didn't, I didn't get to see them. Uh, salesman sample planes. Oh, because they have the cutaway so that you could actually see uh, how it was working. I didn't know they did that. Oh, cool. Even Stanley. Salesman sample planes. Yeah, it wasn't broken. It was actually made like that. That is cool. Huh. Salesman samples. There are, uh, those are always fun. A stamp mill. Oh, so that's a model of a uh, running stamp. Or maybe it is. Yeah, it's a model. Interesting. The uh, Homer made scraper that Stanley never did. <laughs> Hello there. How are you doing today? Oh, here we got some uh, um, um, router planes. Fascinating different styles and types of router planes. Many of them shop made and some of them actually made to be uh, to be sold. Uh, let's see. Levels and measuring tools. Inclinometer. More levels. And then we've got vices. And in a minute we're going to go around and look at the inside of the shop. And then we have the uh, sale upstairs. Uh, the auction. So you Lovely, got uh, spoon cutter. So these are. Oh, cool. Um, you don't make those anymore. Shit pulling. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to come back and spend some more time. This is the cutouts for the tunnels. Tree nails. <laughs> I'm going to have to come back and take a look at that. That's fascinating. This is a uh, particular architecture that I'm interested in. Chests. He hasn't opened those up yet. Uh, okay, here we got Bailey Victors. Um, so before Stanley brought Bailey in, um, Bailey had his own line of planes called the Victors. And if you've ever been interested on hatchets or salesman sample um, anvils, <laughs> yeah, there are uh, quite a few of them here. <laughs> but here, let me show you some of the, this in here. So he's got um, he's got a pile of oil cans, and all the way around in the mantle up there, there are oil cans. And whoop, um, so we've got steam horns, and he's got all these shelves back here with just collections of tools. <laughs> some more. Oh, look at that burl. Ooh, that is a cool plane. Look at the grain work on that. Steam shovel. More tools back in there. Some router planes. And more oil cans up there. And more oil cans up there. And here he's got some more cases in here. I really should try and find a time when there's not anything in here and come through here with him and just have him talk through his collection and the history and you can see some of his, uh, so the grist mill is the publication for the MWTCA, and he has made quite a few um, uh, additions to that. Check out the, uh, the handle on here, Atkins Stainless Steel. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh yeah, here's a, a really cool core box plane with the additional um, bars put on. I'm going to have a video coming out soon on the, the core box plane, so stay tuned for that. Oop, don't do that. Let's go back up to like one. There we go. Knives. Crank handle chisels. What do we got back in the corner here? Some wooden planes. 
some compass planes back in here. Here's some cool cases. So, oh, here. Haha. <laughs> okay. Um, this, I don't know if you can legally sell that with that much ivory. So that's real ivory and ebony plane. That's just solid ebony, solid ivory, and brass. Beautiful. So many cool beauties, as well as a lot of the uh, past favors, Pacific Northwest favors. Um, well, hello there. And even the bathroom, even the bathroom has things. <laughs> Trammel points and dividers. Saws. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, here we got uh, gunpowder um, flasks. Uh, he's got several of these cases set up. They're just full of really cool tools, as well as some of the Pacific Northwest tool collector bits. Interested to see what the favor will be this year. We'll find that out tomorrow and it should be coming up soon. Looking forward to that. <laughs> Logging mills. What do you do when you have a log that big? Carving tools, trammel points. Um, oh, salesman sample plows. That one's kind of cool. These are fascinating. So here's the beautiful plow plane back in there. Some gorgeous brass work. And so this is all Bill's collection. Yeah, plum bobs, or these would be Bill's plum bobs or plum bills. Levels. Let's see what we got back in here. Look at that dovetailed little plane. Zoom in. That's cool. Tango line pill. Some of these plum bobs are just plum crazy. Like that one has some sort of, it's not a plum bob, that's gotta be something else. And then just the shelves. You'd spend forever just looking through individual shelves of stuff. Sorry if I'm going fast, I'm just having fun. Oh, even these, <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, those right there, the uh, Harbor Freight. Are those the Harbor Freight? Yeah, those are the Harbor Freight ones. <laughs> Even has those in here. Ah, so here are the favors um, throughout the years. And I've got a few of them, but not all of them. Oh, wow, 2002. I didn't realize they did a whole router plane. That is cool. Really cool. Plum bobs. Oh, even these. <laughs> and then we've got more stuff. Oil cans up top. More heads. I'm going to go upstairs and we're going to look at the auction that's coming up. Some aluminum tools. This is just, oh, having so much fun digging around in here. So let's go upstairs because they have an auction getting ready for. There's some cool things up here. So he robbed a church apparently, or a couple of them. There's three different sets of pews. <laughs> but uh, oh, yeah, here's a really cool um, Cooper's plane. This one's probably, what, four and a half foot long. Beautiful beast. Some uh, rabbit planes, plow planes. This one, you might say, oh, another Cooper's plane. No, this is actually a monster jointer plane. You can see there's a handle, so someone can push it. And then other handles down there, so other people can pull it. Yes, that is so big, it's designed to be run by three people. Here's a tap, tap and die, so here's the tap. And this is the die. So it's got two different cutters that come in to cut the, the thread. Wooden braces. 
So all of this will be auctioned off uh, tomorrow night. And yeah, <laughs> look at level inclinometer. Now there's some more Pacific Northwest favors. And yeah, there we go again. Harbor Freight planes. <laughs> Here's another Cooper's plane. Big beasty thing. You can see this is actually designed to go upside down and two legs go in there. And this end has a rabbit that sits on the bench. A couple of Veritas tools. Clamps. Bow saws. Planes. Not so plain planes. Lee Nielsen. Slicks. Corner chisels. Oh, that's a pretty halfback. Look at that. That is cool. Who is that? Um, I can't read it. Winsloff and Sons. That's cool. I love that halfback. That's pretty. I might buy that halfback. I probably won't. It's probably way too expensive for me. But we'll see. I'm hoping to have the auction live, but I don't know if I can get the signal up here. I'm going to try, but we will see. I'm going to try and get the phone over by the side. Now here's a collection of the Veritas small tools. And... More. And then, of course, on the wall, yes, this is stuff all the way around. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, if you can't tell, I'm having a little bit of fun. So tomorrow, I'm going to hopefully do one um, at the tailgate out there. And then I'm going to try and get a live on the auction. I think if I have it set still and over by that, I might have a good enough quality to do it live. So stay tuned for that. But yes, welcome to the barn. This is Pacific Northwest Tool Collectors. And they do a meeting here every other month um, just outside of, of, um, of uh, whatever this place is. P, Oregon. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I think that's about it. I'm going to wrap this up. And until next time, have a wonderful day.